Hi everybody, welcome to Like My Way. I'm Stephanie for the new ones and today we're checking out if your person will reach out to you. So you can either be in no contact for, you know, maybe you've been in no contact for a while, maybe it's recent, maybe you've just been ghosted or something. So this is a reading that's timeless. It's good for whenever you find it and you can also come back to it a little later, uh, later on. So we'll see what uh, comes out of this. I'm going to check out their intention and if they will actually take the action to reach out to you. So that's my intention today. And we're starting this new 2022, this new year when I'm recording this, just, just before uh, the beginning of the new year. So you might be wondering if it's time to find somebody new or to wait for this person. So um, here we go, four piles today. One, two, three, and four. You can go in the timestamps to find your time, uh, in your, sorry, in the description box to find your timestamps. I'm giving you a moment to choose and I'll see you at your reading. Hello everyone, who chose group one. Hope you're all doing good. Um, I want to wish you uh, the best for the new year to come, balance, abundance, love for all of us. Um, I know I'm anxious to start this new year, got many goals and I finally feel like things are starting to move the way I wanted to. It feels like 2021 was a massive cleanup year for me, cleaning up a lot of stuff professionally, uh, with friends, with family. So I got rid of a, a lot of stuff that was that was not serving me anymore. So I'm ready to start fresh and uh, just can't wait. So I wish you all the best. Uh, we're checking your person's intention. See if they will contact you and reach out. You also have this stone here, which is part of my uh, my charms. And this one represents the sacral chakra. So uh, my intention when I picked them out was to know which chakra you should focus right now uh, at the beginning of the year so you can check that out for those who don't know much about chakras it's this one right here right above the root chakra so this one here you can check out what the purpose of this chakra is you can also check out how to balance it how to do ricky and how to align yourself a little better so let's see your person's intention here uh, in the near future. So I, I'm keeping it um, like near future three months or so. So what are their intention towards you? Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups reversed. What are their intentions? We have the Five of Swords reversed. What else? Two of Swords reversed as well. And the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So your person's intentions are to work on something a bit more stable. Uh, we got that at the beginning and end of your spread here. Eight of Pentacles reversed here at the bottom. And that really goes well with the, what we have here in the middle. This person is would like to offer you something here. Something small. It's like they're not wanting to go too fast. Uh, the page is a little immature or it's a new soul, a, a, a student. So this uh, it feels like this person doesn't know how to focus their energy and your connection. They don't know what to think. Uh, they don't know if you're still interested. They're unsure maybe of their own feelings or where this could go. But right here in the middle with the Five of Swords reversed, we got this wanting to, um, to come to a resolution. Some kind of understanding, reunion, forgiveness. 
And that's really beautiful that it's right here in the middle. But your person seems to be a little confused on how can I do this? They don't know what to think with this um, two of swords reversed. Uh, it's a little bit of confusion. They might be stuck in fear, a little bit of conflict, and it seems to be a little overwhelming um, for them. But they do want some resolution with you, something more stable. They want things to be clear. It's just their mind is a little cluttered right now. I want to check out why is this Ace of Cups reversed here? The Ace of Cups is an energy of being um uh having repressed emotions that's one thing maybe this person is having a hard time showing their vulnerability to you or just simply expressing their feelings in general uh they don't know how to do this they might show it more in actions than in words or um yeah they, they might show it more in and how they approach you than with what they say to you and it might be a little um, clumsy uh, having this page here. But this Ace of Cups, it's, uh, it's, it's feeling confused and insecure. So they're, um, feels like they miss you. I'm feeling like a, some kind of a void. Yeah, and they'd like to reach out here with this uh, Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is impulsive. Uh, sometimes he doesn't um, think or analyze things before they act. Uh, they're fast, though, and very determined. So this person is determined to find the stability in your connection. They just don't know how right now. Let's just check out now. What you need to know about this connection. Um, here. Sorry, couldn't see my deck. Starting to have a lot. Okay, so what do you need to know about this connection at this moment? We have spend quality time together, listen and talk to each other. Oh, that is kind of sweet. So need, there's a need of communication in your connection. Okay, and we got these two little uh, elves or angels, not elves, kissing. So it is. it feels pretty sweet, doesn't it? What else do you need to know about this connection right now? Oh. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. It can be taking back control of this connection, but also expressing what you want, you really want. And same for your person. Let's see what they want to tell you before I get to the action they're going to take. Mixing things up a little bit. Why not? What do they want to tell you? A thousand lifetime with you would never be enough it feels pretty calm i gotta tell you the the energy when i'm reading your pile here it's pretty calm it's not always calm so it doesn't feel like this person wants to be separated from you it feels like their focus is, is just confusion confused they're confused i'm terrified of you Feels like you you two might be soulmates. Or you've got a soul contract or something. Just I'm curious to see here. King of Cups. Uh, I feel like your person might think or feel like they've been selfish in the past. Um, there might be some kind of codependency between the two of you. Codependency is not necessar necessarily bad. But it's feeling attached to someone. And... Um, Obviously, when there's some kind of codependency, you also have to be able to uh, know why you feel codependent of something or someone. So, uh, the king of, of cups reversed is, um, is showing that, but he's also moody. 
Okay, so maybe your, your person has got a little temper. Maybe you do have a little temper. I know uh, at some point I, I kind of blow a fuse when I'm fed up. Uh, so maybe that's what happened and now things need to be explained and talked. Okay, we have here. I hear you crying, my love. Mm. Your skin is so soft. So they're definitely missing you here. They're still thinking of you. Let's see what action they will take. What will they what action will they take towards my group one here? I'm feeling feeling like they'd like to cuddle you or just like hold you. What, what do they want to do? What will they do? Eight of Pentacles reverse. It's this one. So we got it twice. And that's wanting to be like... It's perfect. Wanting to be perfect, but in an obsessive way. Really not wanting to make any mistakes. And uh, it's very frustrating, you know? So that's... An energy that's coming twice in their intention and in their future actions so this person is really not wanting to make a mistake again so maybe that's why they're thinking so much and it feels like overthinking oh the star beautiful beautiful okay we got the star what else the star is is um wanting to start a new phase it's very dreamy but it's transformative at the same time it's really being focused on something oh the fool hmm sweet justice okay what else oh, i'm gonna have to move this one what else What will he do? <gasps> the Emperor. Group one. This is kind of really pretty. Really, really pretty. Okay, so this person wants to make things right. At the bottom here, we have the moon. The moon and the star. Both very transformational. Both wanting to move forward. The moon is... Um, it's moving along a new path where you don't see what's in front of you and not knowing what to expect, but st still moving forward uh, towards the unknown to find this balance is being called to go in a direction and just trusting. So that's really pretty. And we with these cards here, it's even prettier. I'm, I'm uh, like, I think I'm going to cry a little bit here i'm tearing up for you guys all right so this person really want to be right and just towards you this is not someone that will uh, put all their emotions on the table they won't express it it's somebody that's pretty solid might be a little um stoic um when you first meet them you might not see this person being vulnerable easily it's somebody that real that really want to um, manifest this connection with you. I think this person will reach out. At some point, they will here with this fool. They're gonna take that leap of faith, but it feels like they they have to ruminate this in their head until they cannot stand it anymore. This is really really positive. So it seems like they're going to overcome this frustration here. But I'm going to clarify these two Eight of Pentacles. Um, because they're reversed, I want to see uh, uh, what extra messages we can get there. But this person really want to uh, manifest this. It's the, um, you know, masculine energy to the max. So this person wants to be uh, somebody that's very structured, but they do want to make things happen here they do, they are also a very very good provider they want to be in charge they want to um, dominate the situation and i'm not saying dominate in a 
mean way. It's just want to they want to control this outcome. And it feels like a beautiful outcome that they want. So they're um, just confused right now. Let's check out those two Eight of Pentacles and see what they have to say. Um, I'm going to use... Um, what am I going to use? Oh, this. Okay. Okay, tell me about the two Eight of Pentacles reversed. Why are they there? Oh, Queen of Wands reversed. Hmm. I feel like they're wondering. Well, this person might be a little jealous. Um, or possessive. Or just not wanting to lose you. It doesn't have to be toxic or unhealthy. It's just like this person might be envious of the other person you're dating. Or afraid to just you going to date other people. Uh, so, I feel like they're wondering if you're still interested. Six of Cups. They're wondering if you want this reunion. If you still have this interest in them. If you're still thinking about them. And we have this King of Cups here reversed. Interesting. It's here two wow maybe this person has some kind of codependency towards you see here we got this ten of wands showing up um they're very determined the ten of wands can be a, a few things but it, this is a connection that's waiting on their mind it's very present in their head they're uh, they're stuck with this mind. Um, all their thoughts always going to the same place. They're really overthinking. But the ten of um, of ones is also determination. So they're determined to to see where what they can do with this connection. Um, having this, oh, they want a fresh start. Okay. Um, yeah, so they're wondering, I, I feel like the main thing here is that they're wondering if you're still interested, if you still have love for them, if you still just care about them, but I feel like they, they're feeling very codependent of you here, the devil, codependent or just attached. There might be some kind of off balance here. In your connection that's not for all of you um, because I'm, I'm seeing this codependency a little bit but this person really want to overcome this this person is determined to make things right and to be better they really do want that and they want to they don't want to be little they want to be a bigger person so I feel like this person is really on a journey to discover really what they want and how they want to reach out to you and I feel they will I feel they will so that's your answer I think they will contact you yeah all right so this is your message group one thank you so much for being with me like subscribe if you want to just uh, give me a little bit of support and let me know how this resonates for you in the comments thank you so much I'll see you soon bye bye Hi everybody who chose pile two. So you chose this deck and this stone here, uh, which is part of my charms collection. This is my charm that represents the throat chakra. And when I pulled them out, um, I, my intention was, um, or my question was, which chakra does my group two need to focus on and balance on? The throat chakra is obviously located in your throat. And it's the chakra of communication here. For those who are not common or knowledgeable about this chakra stuff, it's right here. Okay, the light blue one. Um, so this one is about communication, being able to express yourself, being able to be vulnerable, being able to say what you want. So that is the chakra you need to focus on right now. Now let's see... Um, what are your person's intention and your connection 
and then I'll check out what they will actually do. Okay, because those two might be completely different sometimes. And I'll get you messages from your person as well. So let's see at this time. And I'm my intention is for the next two, three months, short term. What are your person's intentions and your connection? We got that. And we got the Queen of Wands. Okay. Pretty intense here. Wow. Did something flip? I felt like something flipped, but maybe not. I guess not. Nope. Okay. What are your person's intentions in your connection here? Queen of Pentacles reversed. Your intentions for group two. King of Cups. Their intentions. And the Magician. Okay. Hmm. That is interesting. I'm going to clarify the devil here. We also have the page of wands reversed here at the bottom. Tell me more about this. Oh, sorry. It's not devil. It's death. Okay. They definitely want something to end uh, with that. But that is also ending something to leave space for something new. So it's not a bad card. It is not. Um, it's very transformational. Um, and it's really shedding all the old stuff. Okay. Getting rid of what doesn't serve. Oh, nine of cups to leave space for happiness. <gasps> Beautiful group two. Uh, by the way, if you skip the intro, happy new year. Wish you all the best for the new year to come. Um, for those who are watching this at the beginning of 2022, even though this is a timeless reading. Um, I know I'm very anxious to start the new year. I've got many goals. Ready to meet maybe someone new. Uh, it feels like 2021 was a massive industrial cleanup of my life. In all areas. Um, you know, I ended friendships. Uh, connections, um, stuff in my professional, ex-professional life that I let go. Uh, so lots of stuff happened and I'm really anxious to start fresh. So this person, okay, is wanting something fresh, new and passionate with you. Okay. And their intention is to manifest it here. And they want to show up their emotions and that they care about you. They might not say it with words because the King of Cups is very caring, protective. He's very strong in, in uh, uh, wanting to being generous and, and wanting to protect someone. So he might just cover you with attention, not necessarily with words. Okay, here. Uh, but it's still beautiful. I want that. I do want this. We got a beautiful energy today uh, for your pile. Pile 1, 2 was pretty good. See here at the bottom, we got the Queen of Wands again. Uh, so we got this one twice. It's creative energy. It's following the intuition. It's being passionate. So this person wants to be passionate and maybe let go of, of what they... It could be leaving someone or leaving some kind of security they had. Okay. They could be like setting a house to move closer to you. It could be, um, you know, leaving a job to be able to be closer to you. They're ready to leave behind some kind of stability to take this chance. Isn't it beautiful? The king of 
swords is very determined is uh quick um is not overthinking too much he's just following his gut okay so i feel like this person will jump in um in not such a calculated way which is good so i think this person is planning to focus on something new with you that's their intention really nice let's see what you need to know about the connection messages from you and then i'll get to what they will actually do because they, they really want this happiness here so i feel like they they maybe they were blocked in the past by some kind of situation in their life and they're re ready to move and end that to move towards what they really want we got this page of ones reversed um that shows a little bit of um being unfocused might be pessimistic they might feel like you might not be interested anymore um but overall i think they're gonna try to they're, they're gonna, gonna they're, they're trying they're planning to do something okay they're planning to manifest something they don't want to leave the connection in 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 the way it is right now so what do you need to know about this connection we have healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents okay well that's nice Let's see what else you need to know. What else do you need to know? Group two, what's the message for them? Oh, this is number 38. So reduces to 11. So guidance. Look at this image. Honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth feel like this person might surprise you. You might not see this person get closer to you until they're really close or very ready. They might be a, a little bit hiding their feelings, still having this mask on, but it's like they're waiting for the right moment. Let's see what they want to tell you and then i'll get to their action what they will actually do we have i'm terrified of you oh well they are okay this person might be afraid of rejection because we got the hesitation here i constantly feel you running through my veins What else? I'm not ready to receive so much love from you. They're kind of keeping um, some kind of distance. Your skin is so soft. It's interesting here that we have honesty and is essential and we had this communication chakra not be hiding behind a mask letting the the ego go away we don't need that all the time right we all have one but we don't use it to our best interest sometimes i am drawn to your deep intelligent intelligence and wisdom well i don't see this card often they're drawn to you they might feel like you you know them better than they might actually know themselves or like you can uh, just guess what they're thinking and feeling and that puts them uh, or makes them uncomfortable 
So they might have a, a little bit of difficulty being vulnerable with you. But I feel like this person wants to come in with some kind of gesture to show you they're interested, but also to check out if your reaction before they actually jump in. Let's see what they will actually do. We have the star. Oh, this one is wanting to escape. Oh, the world. Wow. The nine of cups. Okay, group two. If you were hesitating between this pile and pile one, you could have a message in that pile too. Okay, there's similar cards. The main lines of the readings are very similar, so you might find something in there if you were hesitating. Oh my gosh, the wheel. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh. King of Wands reversed. Okay, this person is a little afraid. To not be good enough for you. Wow, do they want something to happen with you. You got three major arcanas right here. There's some here as well, you know. But this is wanting to move. This is wanting to change. Wanting to see where it could go. Uh, really dreaming about it very transformational feels like you've been of a great I'm hearing a great importance in their life journey journey and they want this happiness you have this nine of cups twice twice isn't it beautiful but this person might feel too little next to you or not good enough. Oh, see, Queen of Wands is back and we got it here. So we have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. So they see you as an equal match. But they it's like they feel like they're not enough. Let's clarify this guy here. <laughs> wit, 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 wit. Oh, Sage Tower? Yeah. Okay. This person might not. <sighs> Four of Pentacles. I don't feel like this person likes to, to change so much. They might be waiting for you. Uh, Knight of Pentacles. <sighs> this person is impatient. And impulsive with this king of wands. This person is impatient to get things moving. This person is not avoiding your connection. This person sees you as a really good match. They're very attracted to you, I'm going to say physically. But, like, not just for, you know, in bed. It's just, like, intimacy in general. Wanting to be close to you. Wanting to hold you and just, like, smell your hair and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. So, this person wants to be stable. I feel before they reach out. I feel like they really do want to reach out. This person is not moving away. It's not moving away from you. They're sticking around or they're, you're sticking in their in their heart at the minimum will they reach out i think they will when they feel like they can match you and that's a question of perception right yeah they're, they might be here we got the seven of swords reversed so they might be wondering if you can forgive them uh, if you two were in a 
relationship in the past. If this person is just a crush or a crush you have, uh, this person kind of feels maybe that they're not your type. But they're drawn to you and they just like can't control themselves. So I, I really feel like um, this person will reach out eventually. But when they have a sign from you or they see something that shows them that you're interested. It's not somebody that will risk everything. Okay, it's like they don't want to. Well, they don't want to be re um, rejected. That's one thing. But it's it's like they would feel humiliated if they're wrong. So they, 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 they're really wanting to have some kind of tangible signs that you're interested. So be aware of signs so that you can give them a little bit of, you know, <laughs> an insight that, yeah. I like you. So here we go. Group two. This is your reading. I hope this resonated with you. Please like, subscribe. It's such a great support for the channel and for me. And uh, let me know how this resonates in the comments. I love reading um, your stories. All right. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hi, everybody. Who chose group three? So you chose this deck here. And um, this is part of my charms collection. It is my um, charm for heart chakra. So about your emotion. And when I was picking them out, you know, uh, I asked which chakra does pile three needs to focus on and work on right now. So you got the, the heart chakra. And I'm just going to show you for those who are not too familiar with the chakras. Well, heart chakra, it's easy. It goes, you know, heart space. It's all the emotions. Um, so it's to focus on that. And I'm going to say to acknowledge your feelings. To um, not, not only acknowledge them, but accept them for what they are. I'm going to give you an example. Sometimes we are, we are breaking up with someone. We're disappointed about something. And our head says, hey, I want to move on. I'm letting go of this person. Well, maybe you're not ready to move on. Maybe you're still sad. And if you push it or push yourself to let go when you're not done grieving, you're just creating resistance. And that just slows down. It slows down everything. So it's being accepting of your feelings and where you are at but also being able to express your feelings. Okay, that was just an example. So let's see. I'm starting with your person's intention to see if they will contact you. And I'm focusing more on the next two, three months. Okay, begin two, three months when I'm recording this. We're um, in the new year or right before the new year. Uh, but it doesn't have to. This is a timeless reading. But I'm so, so anxious to start this new year. Um, feels like 2021 was like an industrial cleanup in, of my life. Um, so let go of a lot of stuff I did not need it anymore. A lot of people too. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm ready for a fresh start. So let's see. What are your person's intentions and your connection? We've got justice reversed. Okay. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Okay, I'm just going to let you know now. It might be a little triggering or just validating of what you feel already. Um, King of Wands. What are their intentions towards Group 3? Seven of Swords, reversed. And Page of Pentacles. Okay. 
I'm going to clarify a few. At the bottom here, we have judgment reversed. So justice and judgment both reversed. So it feels like this person is kind of set in their mind. They might not be very focused on fixing anything. They might be impatient about something or just fed up with, you know, um, the way the connection is going. I feel like they do want some kind of reconciliation, but they're they're not offering more. This might be a relationship that's more sexual for some of you. Obviously, it's not for all of you. Uh, this could be someone that doesn't want to commit um, for long term. They, they are attracted by you, but not really in a place of wanting to give much. But they don't want to be in uh, bad um, terms with you either. But this person is not wanting to change their their mind or their opinion or their decision, especially with these two cards here. So let's see. Okay, six of cups reversed and nine of pentacles. Okay, so this person right now is not wanting to be in a relationship. They're looking into being single and maybe focus on their career. Um... They might be a player for some of you. They might want to be free and just like go out and not necessarily party, but be free to date whomever they want. I don't feel see them as someone that wants to commit, uh, even though they don't want to be in good terms with you. It's like they want to go back to you, but not to commit. Uh, Ten of Pentacles. It's like you represent some kind of stability for them, but they don't want to be in a relationship. And we have this twice, two of cups reversed and the six of cups reversed. So this person is not in a place of wanting to be in a romantic relationship. This person wants to be single now. They don't feel it's right for them to be in a relationship. And their mind won't change about that. Okay. Sorry, it seems brutal, but uh, I got to tell you what uh, what's going on now. And remember that this is for the next three, two, three months and it can change. But right now, it feels like this person is really s focusing on themselves and might feel or look like they're being selfish. That's not how I feel it or see it here. It's just this person is not in a place of wanting to commit. They do feel very secure with you. Uh, they do see potential with you, but not in a very near future. Whew. Okay. So what do you need to know about this connection now that we got that very clear? Heart to heart conversation. Honestly discuss your feeling with each, other's, uh, each other. I feel like it's interesting because we have the heart chakra here. I feel like you need to tell them what you want and have very firm boundaries of what you won't accept. So if it's if you're in the situation where this was a friends with benefits kind of relationship, um, somebody that comes and goes in and out of your life, you need to be clear. I like you. This is an example. I like you. I'd like to have more. You cannot come back to me just for benefits. That's an example. Just to be clear. And I think you need to protect yourself from this person. Uh, protect your heart. I don't see any kind of meanness in them. But it's just their focus is not on the connection right now. Okay, let's get to the other things and other message that you need to know. Choose love. You always have choice. Make yours with love. So you might decide to let this person go, leave your life or not, but you don't need to be resentful. You can do it in a, you know, 
compassionate, respectful way, I feel like you need to set things straight with them. Okay, before I get to what they will actually do, okay, because we have their intentions, uh, we'll see what they will do, but let's see what they want to tell you first. I always hope to have you in my life. It is the case. They want to keep you in their life. They keep you around. You are my favorite work of art. They're very passionate about you. That I have no doubt. Maybe this is the kind of relationship you want too. You don't have to want to something very committed this person wants to keep it kind of light um without commitment they want to keep their freedom they're still focusing on on themselves here oh okay uh this is my only bilingual card here in my own deck tu es tout pour moi ne me quitte pas you're my everything do not leave me okay it's interesting that I just talked about setting your boundaries and putting like some kind of firm condition. Like if you want to be in my life, this is what I need. And this is going to be different for everybody uh, watching this. But uh, they're afraid to lose you. But they're not offering. I feel like they're not offering you what you, you're looking for. I am so sorry for not giving you the time and attention you deserve. Yeah, they're not focusing on the connection at this moment. Maybe they will in the future, but right now, their focus is elsewhere. And it might not be a bad thing. It's just right now, focus is elsewhere. Let's see what action they will take. What action will they take towards group three? What will they do in their connection with group three? Okay, we have Nine of Pentacles Reverse. It is right here, uh, but upright. Page of Pentacles. How oh, interesting. It is up here. <laughs> Repeating cards. Okay, we have the High Priestess Reversed. King of Swords Reversed. This person might be very materialistic. Oh, see, two of cups. You got three cards repeating. Hmm, okay. I'm going to clarify uh, a few. This person might realize they're materialistic. I think they're focusing on on their uh, stability i was gonna say money and they could be um somebody that's like a workaholic or uh just really focus on their career or their school uh, really focus on their goal um and that creates a setback okay and i feel like they 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 need listen 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 carefully here. They need to lose you. Seven of Swords, Seven of Swords. So that's four cards repeating. And I don't have a lot of cards today. They need to lose you to realize your value. That will make, that will shake them. Let's see here with this eye precess. Are you there, high precess? Reversed. It's like they're gonna, they're, they got a lot of repressed emotions here and feelings with these two. King of Swords reverse is, is, um, is he's so undecisive. Uh, he might be manipulative or abusive, but with with these cards around it, I don't see it this way. I feel like he's just like repressed emotions. 
and and it's just gonna kind of bottled up bottle up and kind of um explode what i'm seeing is is you know these i'm I'm seeing something, so I gotta explain it. I'm seeing, you know, this big, big jar, glass jar that have a cork uh, top on them, and you can put cereals in there, noodles, rice, and you can leave them on your counter, and it looks all pretty. That's what I see, but there's there's this fog in it, uh, white, like a white smoke, and it's moving in all direction, which you know it shouldn't move if the the lid is on. But that is moving around and the lid is just shaking. That's what I'm seeing. So I don't know if you have those jars at home, but I'm seeing those jars um, or one big one. So, okay, back to High Priestess. <laughs> High Priestess is, um, she might, um, it's like, it's like secrets emo secret emotions that are not revealed and I feel like this person needs to feel like they're gonna lose you or that they lost you in order to come here in union or in some kind of balance and and stop being in avoidance this person is kind of running away of something and their life in general and I, I feel like it's just gonna create a no a whole different kind of world and possibilities if they feel like they lose you. So I feel like you might be in no contact or have a little bit of contact, a little conversation here, uh, set your boundaries, and you might uh, have this uh, other period of separation, and that will be time for them to have this lesson. This is, this is looking good, the Two of Cups, because in their intentions, they're not planning and being in a romantic relationship. When we get here, they get afraid to lose you and and then admit their feelings so that looks like it's what's going to happen i think it's a matter of time this kind of connection kind of take time sometimes some people learn fast others not it's we each have our, have our own journey if you're interested in a personal reading so I can dig into your personal situation, um, you can visit my website. It's all in the description box. It'd be a pleasure to read for you. Wow. So it feels like things can change quite dr drastically. So, hey, there we go. This is your message you're reading. Express your feelings here. Express what you want. Maybe this person doesn't even realize that you care about them so much. Maybe that's why they don't have intentions because maybe they feel you're okay with this depending on on your situation. So it's it's like not in their mind. And it feels like if you have this conversation and you choose love, it can all change. Focus on your heart. Express your heart. All right? Wow, it is a beautiful reading overall. Group three. Uh, thank you so much for being with me. Let me know how this resonate. Like, subscribe. It's such a big support um, to have um, any kind of interaction on the channel uh, for me and for the channel. So please like and subscribe. And thank you so much for being with me. I'll see you very soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. Uchos Group 4. Hope you're all doing well. For those who are watching this when I'm releasing it or in that week, Happy New Year. Wish you all the best. I know I'm very excited and anxious to start this new year. I just can't wait for a change to actually happen. Seems like 2021 was just like a massive industrial cleanup of my life. 
got rid of friends, um, got rid of so many things that were not serving me. So um, there, can't wait for uh, the new year to start. This is still a timeless reading if you're watching this later on. You chose this um, charm, which is for me, my solar plexus chakra. So this is a chakra that uh, when I was pulling them out, I asked what chakra my group four needs to focus on right now. And this is being in the present. You can you can look it up. What is the purpose of the solar plexus chakra? I see how you can um, balance it, how you can um, make it more aligned with the other chakras and stuff. So you can look it up. Okay, so we're checking out if your person will reach out to you. But first, I'm going to check what are their intentions at this moment. And I'm keeping it for the next three months, okay? Two, three months. Ooh, the Emperor to start. What are the person for group four? What are their intentions? Oh, the Knight of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, holy smokes, lots of stability here. Queen of Wands. Wow, okay. Queen of Swords. Wow. Bottom here, Two of Wands. This person is waiting for the right moment or planning to find the right moment to offer you something. Some kind of stability. They want equal share between the two of you. They want to be equal. They like, um, they're passionate about you. They want to be a good provider. They want to be fair. They want to be stable. Uh, it's just like they want to express their truth. They, they are as passionate, as uh, intellectual about this. Um, they're, uh, it's interesting, eh? They really have the same face. Um, they're focused on it. Their intention is to come in with an offer. Uh, they're very into their masculine energy, so they might not be showing much emotion. It might just be in attention gifts presents or just like uh offering you a lift but in giving attention to you not necessarily in being emotional or vulnerable this person is in is masculine energy wanting to take charge of the connection be, being like stable they want to uh, look strong to you they want to be strong that's all their intention and I feel like they want you to see that. It, it's like they want to stand out. So they're planning to stand out. And I feel like they, they are planning to, or their intention is to come in with some kind of offer of stability. For some of you who are right now in a relationship with, with this person, they might offer you like to move in together. You might want to get engaged. You might want to grow your family. Like if you're thinking about getting a dog, having a baby. Um, it's just a matter of time here with this two of wands. They're, it's like they're really in the planning and they're very patient about it. Uh, enthusiastic. And it, this is a card of movement. So they're moving forward towards you and their intentions. Let's see what you need to know about this connection. Okay, because in the intentions, oh, you deserve love. You're lovable. <laughs> so this person is seeing you, okay? And you need to accept it and to let the love in, let the attention in. What else do you need to know about this connection? This is pretty. This person does see your value. They really, really do. What else do you need to know about this connection? Oh, 
thought there were two. No, this one. Number 21. Choose love. Wow. You always have choice. Make yours with love. Okay, you deserve love. Choose love. Um, That's pretty clear, isn't it? Let's put this here so I can move my cards. So this is like, maybe, maybe you were, <sighs> this is not for all of you, but for some of you, this is what I'm getting. Uh, you've been hurt in the past. See this, these two queens, they're looking down. They don't even look happy, but they're, they're pretty strong, you know? Uh, they're strong. They have power of decision, of their choice, of the direction they want to take. But they're looking down and uh, honestly, they look a little depressed, okay? And unsure that this is possible. And I feel like this person wants you to believe it. They want you to trust them. And maybe it's something that right now you're having a little bit of trouble uh, with. Maybe you, um, you've been hurt in the past. Maybe you're just not trusting that this could be real. But this person really wants you to see this let's see what they want to tell you and then i'll get to their actions you might be a little afraid of this intensity of... and that's okay you know your face haunts me day and night well You're my muse, okay? They see you. They, they, they really see your value. This person sees you. And they want you. I am not ready to receive so much love from you. This could be something that they feel that you're not quite ready. And you can reverse the roles as well, okay, for, for this here. Or the two advices so one of you is afraid of being loved old me want to be loved but afraid to afraid to let it let it in okay more messages from your person You can always reverse the rows, by the way. Last one. Where do we go from here? Ah, I want one more. Let's get one more. Okay, and we have everything you've ever said to me, I've taken to heart. So your person sees you. They value you and they want to be seen as a some kind of protector. Um, let's see what their action will be. It's like they want to impress you or they feel like they need to impress you. What action will they take for group four? We have the king of pentacles reversed. Five of pentacles reversed. This one is combined with the hierophant reversed. The chariot combined with the seven of swords. Three of cups. Oops. They want a reunion with you. Seven of Wands. Bottom here we have the Magician with the King of Wands. I'm going to clarify these two here. This person...
Ten of Wands. Seems like this person need to let, they will let go of something. King of Pentacles reverse is a little unstable. Uh, they might be suppressing some feelings. Let, let, let me just tune in here. The High Priestess. It's like they know you have this deep connection. The connection is there. I feel like for some of you, there's... They will return. They will fight for this. Uh, I don't think it's going to be super fast. Even though we have the chariot here. For some of you, it's not all of you. For some of you, there might be a third party involved. And they need to end that other relationship before they can move forward. It could be you that is in a relationship. And if you are in a relationship right now with someone else, I think they're going to restrain themselves from taking any action until you separate. Until you're free. If, if it's your situation. Tell me about this Three of Cups. Because they do want some kind of reunion. The Wheel of Fortune. They want change. They want to go in your direction. They want to listen to your their intuition. They know this connection is fated. Um, they do miss you. They do feel the separation. with of The distance between the two of you. Oh, that's a little better, isn't it? Okay. Um, but they do, they really do want to take charge of something. Tell me more about this Ten of Wands, King of Pentacles. Page of Wands reversed. It's like they want... Um, they're pessimistic about the possibility of union or reunion. So they might dilly-dally around for a little while. Until they really listen to their intuition and then move. But this is very stagnant. And that's, that's at the beginning. But once that is figured out, feels like they're going to... They're going to come to some kind of return here. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups reversed. This person is very afraid of rejection here. Knight, uh, sorry, King of Swords. This person might have quite a bit of an ego or might be very, um, uh, might be paying a lot of attention to what people think of them. Um, so that makes them very undecisive. And they might not be ready to receive your love. I feel like this person is is stuck in some, some kind of materialistic world where it's very important uh, how good you are doing professionally in your life, the stuff you have, what people think. Um, so they're kind of going a little bit against their higher self. Ace of Swords reversed, and I don't, I don't feel like they're showing you. Ace of Swords reversed is again insecurities, again confusion. So I feel like this person will only move forward if they have, if they're completely sure that everything's in place, 
that it is very safe and uh, they're kind of oh I'm sorry for my language they're really annoying in the way they're um, planning stuff because like it's overthinking oh check this out lovers very intense connection we have the six of cups here reversed I feel like this person is so they know your connection is from I feel like your connection is from a different life you've met each other before seven of wands again this person wants to fight for your connection but it feels like they don't have the tools so I feel that there will be some kind of change here They might reach out, but they're not going to invest too much, even though their intention is to kind of make it right, give a lot and all that. In reality, they're going to be very cautious and like too cautious. This is nice, though. Uh, lovers. It's very transformational. It's like they're learning that love is not what they thought it was and they're very much in this materialistic stuff i feel like you're more on the compassionate side emotional side giving and it was 11 uh sorry on my um my camcorder i just saw one hour 11 one 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 i don't know if that means something to you um I feel like this person is afraid they want to offer they're afraid to so for some of you it might be very very little sign I don't feel like your person is for some of you they might not even reach out or you might not even see but they're working on something we have the magician here but they're so afraid to be hurt. Right underneath my magician, King of Wands, I've got the Nine of Cups reversed. This, this person, oh, Nine of Cups, Two of Cups. They're afraid that it won't work. So it's like they prefer to stay in this victim or pessimistic energy instead of taking that leap of faith. I don't feel this person is ready quite to be quite honest but they're really wanting to so maybe maybe well definitely this will change nothing stays set in stone and this is for like three months it feels like there's still need they still need to work on themselves here here and 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 find some kind of um more confidence because they do want to look like this emperor i don't feel like they are in that energy that's what they want to see you to see but that's not how they feel about themselves. Okay? Message here. Kendall magic. Oh, we got a vortex here. This spiral. Finger the spine and caress the lips. Light the spell spilling from your grip. It's like you got the power on, or you got more power than you think in your connection. Hmm. Let's see in what kind of energy you need to, to be in. Okay, for the next two, three months in this connection. We already know you need to be in the present. Chameleon spirit, number 14 or 5. Act as if. Act as if you are where you want to be, that you have what you want to have. It's transformation. Allow the transformation. Believe in manifestation too. Dream, dreams come true. Uh, group four, I feel like you need to be a little patient with this person. I, I feel like you need to be open 
to be um, understanding of your person's wound. I feel like this person has quite a baggage. And this fear of rejection is pretty... We don't see it in the card so much. It's the way like I, that I'm receiving the message. Uh, it's pretty intense. It's difficult for them to overcome. I'm su uh, well. I'm I'm surprised that we don't have um, like uh, something about healing childhood wounds. But we got you deserve love, and this this could be for your person to choose love, to allow themselves to allow themselves to receive it, and it feels like. They don't, they don't know what to do with it. They don't know how to act. So they show up at this emperor, boost their ego. But really, that's not that's not even close from what you are looking for. But that's all they need. They, they know how to do. To impress people, to kind of uh, show their value, when really that's not even what you're interested in. I think you you saw something else, something much deeper in your person, but they don't realize, they don't know that's what you're in love with. Or that, that's what you like. Actually, this sounds a lot like my person. Anyways, I, I might check out if this is my pile. <laughs> that's interesting. We had interested, uh, interesting readings um, today. Gotta admit. All right. So there you go, um, group four, this is your reading. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Any kind of interaction on on the channel is like great, great support. And it helps other people to find my readings. So please like, subscribe, comment. I And I love reading your comments. Read them all. So there we go. Thank you so much for being with me again. And I'll see you very soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.